and welcome back to Campfire Stories. Today's story is called Open Wi-Fi. One weekend, my buddies and I went for a camping trip way far in the forest, uh, somewhere where there's not usually any kind of cell phone connections or anything like that. Uh, so that's why they didn't believe me when I told them that I actually found an open connection when I was down there. And the funny thing is, it was named Free Wi-Fi. Uh, it was rather slow, but that's not a problem when we're super far in the forest and you're getting a Wi-Fi, you're not going to complain about it. I mean, we parked our truck like a mile away down the road before we even got down to the trail that got us down to the campsite. It was quite a distance. Once we were all set up, we all kind of took out our phones and went on Facebook, uh, replied to some Snapchats and Instagrams and all that kind of stuff. And after uh, my friends and I kind of wanted to make a game out of it, uh, we could kind of follow the source of the signal. So uh, Mark and Sean went one way, and Mike and I went the other way. Uh, a few minutes later, we all kind of met back at, this, at the site there. And, uh, well, the signal dropped off for me about 185 paces in one direction, and 250 paces uh, in the other direction for my buddies. Uh, so we all kind of agreed that uh, we should maybe go in the third direction, kind of make a triangle and uh, see where the whereabouts is. Uh, so Marco counted the steps one way, Mike kept his eye on the signal indicator, and Sean and I uh, looked out for anything remotely looking like a router or anything like that. Uh, about a hundred feet in, Mike told Marco to stop counting. The signal was at full strength. Uh, I looked around, no flashing, no cables, no nothing like that. Uh, Marco suggested it could be a pocket Wi-Fi from a fallen camper's phone or something. A possibility, but uh, highly unlikely. Uh, so anyways, we kind of gave up on the search. We didn't find a thing out there, which I don't see why we would. So we all kind of started walking back towards camp. The sun was setting, fog was coming up. And we were all pretty spooked, uh, so we all kind of agreed once we got back to camp, we're just going to grab our stuff and get the hell out of there. Uh, once we got back, holy shit, we realized we were robbed. Our bags were all torn open, our food supplies were missing, and our tents were all pushed over. I immediately it seemed weird to me because, well, they didn't take all our laptops or cameras that we brought. Uh, just, just all the food and the beverages. In my opinion, uh, that was the scary part. Needless to say, we crammed whatever the hell we could in our arms, bags, tents, whatever, and we got the hell out of there to the truck. Uh, once we got to the truck, Mark told us to look at our phones. Wi-Fi signal was at full strength again. I mean, a chill ran down my spine. The connection on this one said, Run, boys, run! And thank you for watching, everyone. That was uh, Friday Night's Campfire Story. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did enjoy that at all, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.